everybody, my name is Mick and uh, mind the hair. I'm kind of sorry about that, I've been a bit busy and uh, yeah, I'm a bit of a slop here, but I wanted to talk about Resident Evil 3. There's gonna be a little bit of spoilers, I wanna let you know, but it's not what I expected. It's, it's very weird. It's a love-hate relationship is what I'm getting at. I wanna love it, but I wanna hate it at the same time. <laughs> Right, um, I was a bit surprised that this game, even in 2020, was about three to four hours. If you really even want to give it that, it's it's much shorter if you cut the scenes out, actually. Right, which you're mostly going to be doing if you're going to be doing the nightmare mode or the other modes like they had in Resident Evil 2. Uh, I was hoping for a little bit more action, right? Because you got like these two characters, you got Carlos and Jill. Right, you're playing mostly as Jill, but you don't really play as Carlos, which I'm like really surprised. Like you give this character who has at least an interesting design, right? And you kind of just like not play as them. You only get like two scenes. I was like really surprised by that. Now, like Jill, she's an amazing character. You got the tyrant. Um, you got liquors. You got zombies. You got some new ones actually, which is cool. And you get to even revisit the mansion from Resident Evil 2 or that little police station, I guess you could say. And it's great, but the problem is it's only three hours long and I expected a little bit more out of it, right? I think with Elise, Resident Evil 2 is about two to three hours for each character. This one, you only play as Jill, right? When in RE2, you actually play as Claire or you could play as Leon Kennedy, right? Our favorite Kennedy boy. Um, and I think even the DLC, you could play as Hunk. And it's really sad because, um, again, this game is $60 and you only have about three to four hours of content, which I'm like really surprised. Right? Like, they had quite a lot of time to sort of do this game. And I think another thing is the DLC is coming out, and you're going to have to pay, like, $30 for it. Right? Like, what we had in RE2. And I'm like, really? We got three to four hours of content, and this is how you do it? Uh, again, there is a multiplayer mode called Resistance, which is a bit fun. But again, no one's going to play that in, like, a year or so. I mean, you could just toss that aside. <laughs> realistically um, the only time you're gonna be able to play that is probably when there's like a couple matches right but even then it's probably gonna be gone because people are probably gonna be playing the, the first the you know the campaign actually I, I felt like they prepackaged this within the main game right because you have to download these uh, separately which I'm like really surprised but I guess it's like Metal Gear Solid where you just like install the the online one <laughs> <laughs> multiplayer and then the other like solo you know what I'm saying like, like there's two things if you're on Steam you have to download and I'm like wondering why this is but yeah I, I, I was thinking like oh if it's if it's both in the whole like file oh you could you know wouldn't be much trouble there'd be a lot more people online for multiplayer but yeah it's really weird how you switch that out but anyways I'm sorry for that little rant but uh, yeah again I'm just a bit surprised like how much content there is it's only three to four hours and this is again with the scenes the, if you cut the scenes out it's probably around two hours and i understand they're trying to keep it original with the predecessors right the original game from 1999 was around two-ish well it was around three to four hours now they didn't have cutscenes. um they had like conversations they had to like you know save the graphics from it but again like it was at least three to four hours um, and I think there was even some other stuff in it, like some other, like, I think there was more modes, actually. I think there was a couple, um, a little bit more. Like, I think there's, like, two more than what we have now. Um, now, of course, with Resident Evil 3, there is a shop, and they try to make it fresh with the other modes, like Nightmare and stuff. But it's still not what I expected. Re like, really, it, it's not. You know, I thought there would at least be a little bit more filler, a little bit more missions, right? Um, with Carlos, right? But they didn't really do that. There's not much to do. Um, it felt really linear. It didn't feel as like at all like a game world, if that makes sense, right? With the Resident Evil games, it's not like a uh, open world, but at least you can come back to things if you want to. You don't feel restricted. Um, with this one, with RE2, Resident Evil 3 and RE2, there is that thing where you feel restricted, which I really hate. Um, like if you're going into the, like the mansion, the police sheriff area, I don't know what would be the proper name for it. You can't really go outside right i believe at least in resident evil 2 and 3 you could go outside um and explore everything if you want to and come back later and like you didn't really feel restricted like you could keep going on with the flow and that's a thing that i really wanted to do in resident evil 3 was you were able to explore come outside if you wanted to if you want to go a different area you can do that willingly but i felt a bit restrictive that makes sense and i understand they're trying to make a linear game it's their approach whatever but I really wish that that was something they could have done with the older games, right? With the 1999 Resident Evil 3 one, um, with Nemesis, right? Nemesis, though, he was a legit scary character. There were some scary fucking scenes in this one. 
which I was really happy. But for $60, I don't think it's going to be that scary, you know? Um, I think that was scary, the price tag, to be honest, for three to four hours. And then I got to pay the DLC, which is going to be a $90 on top when we in the coronavirus business. I mean, ugh, it's going to be insane. So um, I wanted to give my little sort of critique, my little review here. It's, I know this is not what I usually do, but I was a bit surprised even by uh, Capcom themselves to release this game with not much content in it. And I understand, again, they want to keep it to the original predecessors, but it's still not what I think, dude. It's, you know, I was expecting a little bit more missions, right? And I love the game, but I hate the the approach and the development. It's just like, mmm, it's fun, right? Killing Nemesis. Even that weird little liquor moment when you're at the start of the game. But it's a fun game, but I hate it. It's a love-hate relationship is what I like to say. Um, I know this is not the usual video that we do, um, but I want to give my sort of review in. Uh, look, I want to get my money back, but I can't, so I'm making this video to kind of wrap things up here. <laughs> At least I can put it on the channel. Maybe we'll get that money back. But, um, no, I just want to give my thoughts on it. I thought it was a fun game, but, um, which people aren't really talking about. I, I did love it, but I hated parts of the game because, again, like, um, it wasn't... It's a remaster, but it's not remastered great enough if that makes sense it wasn't what i expected i was really hoping for more maybe more content um right i like the multiplayer multiplayer is fine actually it's arguably more fun than the actual game but again it's not what i expected i was hoping more capcom you know even add a little filler if you had to maybe add more puzzles right um but this game was a love-hate relationship is what i like to call um <laughs> Yeah, but anyways, again, that's, I guess that's going to be it. Thank you for the support, guys, and um, yeah, I'll see you guys later, hopefully. Maybe um, tomorrow, I don't know. You know. You'll find me, I'm sure you'll find me live on Twitch uh, during this coronavirus outbreak. Stay safe, my friends, and uh, be kind to one another. It's what we need right now. I'll see you guys later.